Zero's latest S model Roadster is not just the best electric motorcycle yet to go on sale. It's proof that battery-powered bikes could be a force in the near future. The comprehensively revamped Californian bike is good for 80 miles per hour, handles well and is fun to ride. And more importantly than that, it's capable of being ridden for 70 miles at a decent pace before needing to be recharged. That's twice the range of last year's model, and it makes the S bike and its dual-purpose cousin. The DS, the first electric roadster is to be practical bikes, at least for some riders. The trouble is, there's still one big problem with the Zeros. Their price of XA311. 795 is over double that of comparable petrol-engined bikes. Even with petrol prices soaring and a full recharge, which takes 9 hours, costing less than XA3150, most riders would never save the difference between a zero and a conventional bike with similar performance. This latest S model is Zero's closest yet to a genuine roadster but the firm's dirt bike origins still show. Although the unchanged aluminum frame holds suspension with reduced travel, the Taiwanese units give a generous 140 mm up front and 149 mm rear. Wheels are now cast 17 inches, and the front brake disc is enlarged to 310 mm in diameter. With its tall seat and slim lines the Zero looks sporty and almost normal, but after I'd turned the ignition key there was no startup button to press. And no clutch or gear lever. Instead a green light on the dash came on to show the bike was ready to roll. Given a twist of throttle it shot forward. Less sharply than before because Zero have modified the response following reports of a few riders. Giving a blip without realizing the silent bike was ready to go. Quote.